right, so I've been using the Galaxy Z Flip 5 for a while now, and there's a few things about this phone that really turns me off, and that will probably turn me off from all flip phones ever again. Let's get right into it. So first thing I really noticed once I opened up the phone is that the aspect ratio of a flip phone is extremely different from a regular phone. So I'm someone that uses the iPhone 15 Pro Max as my daily. And once I tried to use this opened, it really showed me that the flip phones aren't like a conventional phone. So the whole marketing with the flip phone is that you can have a smaller package when the phone is in your pocket. When you pull it out, you can have the same phone that you usually get and not an extended tablet like a folding phone but with the flip phones the aspect ratio is obviously going to be different than a regular phone yes it does look like a regular phone once it's opened but it doesn't feel like one the phone will be a lot taller and a lot skinnier so when it comes to apps apps won't be as optimized for the flip phone certain parts of the edges might be cut off like i did realize with some games do have some text cut off at the corners and the sides and also the fact that it's taller makes it a lot harder to reach the top of the phone so reaching the top of the phone is going to require you to do that shimmy that you usually do with a hand or use some reachability features or something of the sort so if you're getting a flip phone don't expect it to be a regular phone once it's flipped open because it's really not you're gonna have to get used to using the phone differently You're gonna have to be used to uh, used to having some apps that are just not optimized for that specific phone the whole purpose of this phone is just to make everything easier and just have that conventional phone aspect ratio and size once you open it it does seem that samsung did try their best to actually keep it as conventional as possible that's one of the reasons why i don't think i would be using a flip phone all right so before i move on to the next point I would like for you guys to subscribe to the channel because we're making a lot of different videos and I want you guys to join on the journey, on the YouTube journey. I'm currently at roughly 348 so subscribers and I want to reach 400 subscribers by the end of the year. So make sure to subscribe and like the video if you're actually enjoying this, what I'm doing right now. So yeah, subscribe. Now move on to the video. All right, so this second issue that I have with the flip and folding phones is regarding the crease so a lot of people do mention the fact that you don't see the crease after a while and when you use it it just disappears that's actually true but depending on what you're doing for example with this wallpaper once i turn on the phone i can see the crease loud and proud especially if you look at it at a different angle and slight angle just any slight difference in angles that you're looking at your phone you will see the crease but with the flip phone is that the crease is in the middle of your content which can be annoying especially if you're trying to scroll you will feel the, the crease in the middle um, you will see it if you, there's glare or if you're looking at an angle or something of the sort so that's gonna be a big issue especially if you're trying to watch content on it you can see the crease very loud and proud and that can be an annoyance for a lot of people maybe if i had it for a longer period of time maybe a month or so i wouldn't necessarily care about the crease same way that the notch in the dynamic island is something that i don't really care about after a while but it's still there and the fact that you can actually feel it sometimes is kind of weird because when you're squirreling or certain games that you're going to be playing you're going to feel that crease in the middle you won't really have a choice but to notice it there once once you feel it but you can get over it if you don't actually touch it if you just deal with the bottom part of the screen certain actions might require you to touch the middle part but it's there enough to actually bother me all right so the next thing about the flip phones is that yes you can close it and still have something over here on the screen but the front screen is almost useless. You can't really do anything better with the small screen here. I did download GoodLock that allowed me to use a bunch of different apps here from the lock screen. But what I've noticed is that most of the time, I just wanna open the screen and use the full screen because the small screen here doesn't do enough for me. Yes, it's good to read notifications, but at that point, you could do that with a regular phone, especially if you have always on display. It doesn't do anything better than if you had a regular phone. So that's my issue with the flip phones is that they don't really do anything better than regular phones. One of the selling points of a flip phone is that you can use a small screen when the phone's closed, but 
you wouldn't have that issue with a regular phone. You don't have anything to close. So you would always have the biggest screen possible. You can see more notifications with a regular screen. So having this little screen here is cool. I mean, I use it. I, I, I use it to scroll on Twitter. I use it to scroll on Instagram, but I always find myself opening up the phone and scrolling on the big screen. All right, so another point that I have with flip phones is that they're really fragile. This could just be in my head. For example, the hinge. You don't want to have any piece of dirt sand inside the hinge because you can be folding that thing all the time and the space between the hinge and the actual chassis is very very thin so any little thing that can come up here can ruin the folding mechanism of this phone but not only that is that for this phone to fold the screen is actually different than a regular conventional phone screen this folding phone screen or regular folding phone screen is very very fragile for it to be able to fold you do have to worry about this inside screen and the hinge but not only that you do have to worry about this front screen here on amazon i do see that they sell screen protectors for this so it's just another screen that you're gonna have to worry about just by looking at this phone especially if you're folding it halfway looking at the, at the phone here looking at how the screen bends you can tell that this middle part here is a weak point for the phone. They don't feel really rugged. They don't feel like you can use it as carefree as you would do with a regular phone. It does look like you're gonna have to pay a little bit more attention when you're using a flip phone. And I would suggest you to get like a certain insurance when you're getting this phone or any type of flip phone because repairing those phones are not gonna be cheap. Final issue that I have with flip phones is that there's not a lot of apps that take advantage of the fact that the phone can flip. There isn't much use cases that you can use with the flipping phone, even when you have it propped up like this. The only app that I've seen that can actually use it and that actually does something is YouTube. Even at that, the functionalities that you get from putting your phone like this, there isn't much. The YouTube video is actually has a smaller aspect ratio when you do that. So there isn't much that you can really do that will make, make your phone better. You can flip it halfway or fold it halfway, I should say, and use a camera, but that's just a gimmick. There isn't really much that you get more from it. Um, you don't really get any advantages from doing that. The only real advantage is that when you fold your phone completely, you can use the outside camera and you can see yourself. So you can have one of the best selfies, but the camera on this phone is not the best. You can get a better camera on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. There isn't much to do when your phone is folded halfway or completely folded. There isn't any new functionality that you can't do with a regular phone. So if you're buying a phone, a flip phone or a folding phone, make sure that it does something that you can't really do with your current phone. Flip phones don't really give you anything extra. It doesn't make your experience any better. It's just different. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's worse than a regular phone, but yeah, it's just different. That is how I feel about flip phones. And I don't think that anyone should really consider buying these. You should just go with a conventional phone. I mean, if you have extra money in your pocket and you want a cute phone or you want a phone that you can flip, cause it is fun to play with the phone when you're folding it. But that's only if you really, really, really like the fact that you can flip your phone. I wouldn't buy it again, and I don't think that you should either. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to like and subscribe and join me on my YouTube journey. I'm almost at 400 subscribers, so just follow me so I can reach that 400 subscribers before the end of the year. And hopefully I can actually get a thousand subscribers by next year. So yeah, see you guys on the next video. Peace.